Okay, okay. I think we are ready to go. Hey, how Everything you doing? looks Let's fine. Do it. Yeah, okay. Turn down the volume. That's good. That's good. Let me swap it over. And let's get this going. Take it away, operator. All right. Last time on Battle Network 6, we beat the game, found out that Colonel and Iris are brother and sister, and they were both created by Dr. Wily. And Dr. Wily turned good, I guess, because Lan gave the power of... You can change? I don't know. Anyway, um... So... We beat the game, now we got some stuff we could do. And I'm glad that we're done with the danger music. So now that we are in post-game, you know what, let's, uh... Again, I might as well fight these guys when I can. Only because, like, it gets them out of here. It gets them out of here. See? And it's just a copy bot. Again, I don't think there's an actual side quest tied to clearing out all these guys. But we might as well, you know. Might as well. When I find them. Especially since a lot of the times I'm getting flanked. <laughs> so good. Flame hook is so good. Alright. Oh, another one! Let's just keep this train going. Okay. I think we'll start with Tengu. Actually, no, you know what? Let's start with Tomahawk. I know there's a bunch of fire here. But, what we can do, Invis, let me attack, there, they all chain together. That's what I was going for. Oh, another one here. Molly, why'd you drop your bone? You dropped your bone, why'd you do that? Go get your ball. Go get your ball. Molly. Silly dog, go get your ball. Molly. Go. Get your ball. Get your ball. You don't drop it. Come on. You don't just drop it like that. Come on. There you go. Weird dog. There you go. Uh. Oh, yeah. We have an ad started. Uh, I might as well just let it sit for 50 seconds. 50 more seconds anyway. So, we'll clear out this guy and then we'll be good to go. Um, how do I want to handle him? I think we'll go with Tomahawk. And I'll prepare the bees. Now, I'll give it. You know, I'll wait for the ad to finish. We're talking 15 more seconds. Again, I'm trying to let the ads play out now. So that way, if an ad happens, you're not actually missing anything. On the YouTube side, this won't, this might not matter. Okay, here we go. Tomahawk and bees. There we go. They move so fast that that I need to get the attack going before before they actually attack, but right when they're getting close. I timed that wrong. You. Right. Might as well get healing done. 
Not that it matters. 180 damage for roll. That's pretty good. Pretty good single target, and then you get, like, what, half that back? Oh, look, another one. Might as well just get this going. Ooh, shakers. Okay. Um... Yeah, we'll get Aqua. Let's see if I can hit some of them. Django, one of them's out of here. There we go. Now I'm safe. Now I can swap to Tomahawk. And I can use my bees. There we go. Done. There, we're saving the we're we're saving the stopping the chaos a little bit at a time. Again, I don't think there's actually a reward for doing all of this. Tomahawk. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Boomerang we'll get rid of a little bit. Or all three. Alright. Ah, another one. Already getting some with some of the same viruses. Ground and iron shell. I can maybe get two at the same time. Nope. There we go. Now you're in the back row. Okay, I timed that a little off, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay. So one of the first things I wanted to do. Let's take... Oh, wait. Before we take care of lot of numbers, let's look at patch cards. Now that I beat the game, I wanted to look what we got. So, these patch cards, it looks like... They give you some perks. Some of them changes your Mega Buster and what that does. I won't be using any of these. I'm guessing these patch cards are pretty similar. Yeah. Item cards. What do we got? So, gives you money, gives you the roll chips, so an extra set, I guess. HP plus 500 green? Is that the only way we could get that, or is there another one? I don't know, hold on. Four full energies, attack max red, one of each sub chip, 10 bug fragments, I may end up using that. Meteors, guardian, and full cost. That's a good one. 2,000 Zenny, uh, 30 Bug Frags, Heatman, Heatman EX, and Heatman SP. I will probably, I will probably be picking some of these up. Electman, Electman EX, and Electman SP. Miss Zap. Okay. Lesson Plans, Bodyguard. Miss Farans, Curry. Okay. Slashman, Slashman EX, Slashman SP. Again, I'll probably get it. Dark Scythes. Okay. I forgot that's what his name was. And then there's a race man. And Al Fairies. Okay. And then Charge Man. Okay. At the very least, I'll probably pick up these five. And then here's the ones for Falzar. Bug Fix. One of each sub chip. Oh, Mamaru. That was his name. Was... Chad gives you Proto Man stuff. Barrel gives you Colonel stuff. Oh, Iris gives you Folder Pack 2? Wait, what does that even do? He gives you Super Vulcan, Number Ball, and Double Point. Interesting. 500 Zenny, really? Oh, a mission for her show, okay. Wow! Is uh, Ito gives you 30,000 Zenny. That's a good one. Two Lock Enemy Subships from Vic. And Dr. Wily gives you Life Aura and 10 Bug Fragments. Event cards, let's see. Oh, these give you new requests? 
We may be doing these. We will be doing these. Ah. Okay, yeah, we are definitely going to be doing these later. Not right now, but we will be. Okay, download chips. Double Beast? Prince Mini Falzar X. So, okay, so this must be a chip. Mega, mega chip. Let me take a look. And then there's Falzar X. I'm guessing this is a Giga chip. Exclusive to Falzar. I'm guessing if you're playing Gregar, you can get Gregar X. What's this last one? Special cards. So... Oh, or... Okay, so... Form changes? HP plus 4 on a super armor, you get Reflect. You get Fusion. Dark Mega Man, attack plus 3. Swamp Buster, probably causes poison tiles. Dark Sword, you get an HP bug and an emotional window bug. Soul Batterer Custom, speed, attack, and charge plus 4. Super armor, and your charge shot is a Super Vulcan. Cus uh, Mr. Famous Ultimate Custom... Custom 3, Giga Folder 2, Mega Folder 2, and First Life Aura. Not, not bad. Air Shoes, Float Shoes, Super Armor. B is Triple Buster, and Charge Shot is Shooting Buster. For Base BX? Okay. Django, 200 HP, Status Guard, Immune to Status Effects, Undershirt, and your Charge Shot is Gun Soul. Alright. The Count? Oh, that's a reference to... Django. Mega Folder plus one. Blood Rain. Wow. Oh, there's a crossover for zero. You get the Z Saber and a Fast Gauge. Okay. Cybees Gregar. HP plus 600. Attack plus four. Speed plus four. Super Armor. And you get an HP bug. Falzar. HP plus 40%. Air shoes, float shoes, battle HP bug. Okay. I can kind of see the difference. Base cross Mega Man for Falzar. HP plus 20%. Float shoes. Hell's rolling charge shot. Minus two on your Mega Folders and your triple, triple Buster. Okay. So I think this is the same form that's in... Uh... Battle Network 5. This might actually literally be the same one that we used in Team Colonel. I don't know how much of these I'm going to mess around with, but these download chips were the ones I really wanted to grab. Uh, but this one we will definitely download later. For sure. For sure. Uh, let me take a look at... So, Falzar... Probably a multi-hit move. Let's see. What to throw in. You know what? I don't need Buster. Double Beast. I'm throwing that in. Let's see. What to get rid of? Crack Shot? Crack Shot. What is it? There it is. Alright. So now that we take a look at that... I'll make a save. Let's go ahead and take care of lotto numbers. Let's just get all of this done. I have the list pulled up, and this is a full list. So we're just going to go in order. And again, I don't know how you're supposed to get some of these. So we are just going to... We're just going to do them all right now. 717-57977. You get Battleship Airspin 3. I'll probably toss that in. If it lists where you're supposed to find the code, I'll tell you. But most of these are probably from IRL events or something, or from the anime. 246-16-497. With this, you get Last Man... Star code. Okay. 
Okay. Nine seven zero four nine eight nine nine. For that, you get Blizzard Ball H. So remember the Blizzard Man chip? It's basically that again. I see Guardian, I see Time Bombs. Uh, I don't know what else is there, but that's kind of a cool image. Okay. Uh, Nine two zero seven zero seven six five. Charge Man Star. All right. Uh, five one three seven eight zero eight eight five. And we get Circle Gun V. Four four eight nine two five four seven. For this, you get Colonel Army Star. I am assuming that you need to have blocks on the field. But I could be wrong. So there are two of these that are not in the English GBA version because they were taken out. And this is one of them. One, two, one, one, zero, zero, three, one. But luckily, these are bought back into the Legacy Collection. The Count Star, again, has to do with a crossover event we haven't done yet, so... Oops. Three, two, three, one, zero, eight, two, seven. Dive Man Star. So it's even better than the Dive Man ship because it can be used for anything. Or you can have two, I don't know. Too, too much. Alright, this is also the other the other one that was taken out, the English GBA version, but brought back. 576. Five six five nine five, and Jen it's a Django Star chip, Django One. All right, six zero eight eight four one three eight. You get Drill Arm M. So seven nine eight one four six six six, and we got Dustman. You know, out of all the codes to have the combination of six 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 right next to each other, it shouldn't have been Dustman. <laughs> Again, you can throw these codes in like as soon as you have access to this thing. But you know, I like to wait till at least after beating the game. Three zero four two four five one four. At least for this stream playthrough anyway. Elecman star. Again, the Ele okay, the Elecman cross form and Gregar looks so cool. It's actually one of my more it's one of my favorite designs. It helps that Elec Man is actually just one of the cool cooler designed characters. Nine 
087-89369. Nice. Element Trap, which I believe that's what Mr. Famous wanted me to buy. Well, I guess I don't need to buy it. Four three eight seven five four three. We got Erase Man Star. There's a there's sixty of these codes in total. And fifty eight if you're playing English GBA. Three eight one one six four four nine. You get Geddon Zero, or Geddon Star. Hold on a second. No. There we go. Next one. Um. Okay, one zero four one four eight seven eight. You get Ground Man Star. Not bad. Alright, one four two, one two eight, five seven. You get Gun Soul three W. One two four zero four zero zero two. You get Heatman. Again, Heatman is also like a, another one of my favorite designs. So Gregar has some of my more favorite designed characters. But granted, both Electman and Heatman were in one and two first. Six nine noise. Five four four five six nine noise. We got Lance Star for that. Seven four one two five M Boomerang M. I'm probably gonna throw that in. All right. All right. Seven five six four one three nine two. Recovery 300Y. Five five nine one zero six zero one. You get Slash Man Star. Five one seven zero two seven nine one. You get Aquaman Star. Zero zero two nine seven four two one. You get Tengu Man Star. Two three seven two 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 three four. 
This one is Time Bomb 3M. Apparently, this one is at the Sky Area 1 Net Cafe, I guess, if you buy enough coffee. All right, six seven five two zero one seven nine. This is Tomahawk Man Star. All right, nine seven four zero three zero zero zero. You get uninstalled G. All right, that is all the chips. So, let's do the next set. Oops. All right, zero nine two five six five two four. You get spin green. Apparently, this is in Sky Town Elevator Computer, and you need to talk to a navvy. We probably found it. Seven seven eight three seven four two one. Apparently, this was in the quiz data book, which we do have. Spin red. Whoops. All right, four one nine seven six nine one zero. This is apparently from the graffiti that Mick gave us. Spin yellow. That's all of those key item sections. Seven zero seven four one five four three. Apparently, this was in a science manual. I think we got it. Kia, uh, and we get the Navicust for beat. It's a multiplayer one. Two eight two uh, seven one zero zero two. We got the Navicus body pack for that. All right, one nine seven nine zero four two zero. We got the Navicus for Buster pack. Nine four three zero five four eight seven. This is from a key item, and you know we might not have this one. Actually, there might be another quiz book that I'm seeing that we don't have. Oh well. Charge max. Seven eight eight nine six seven eight. This is from a quiz book. Maybe this is the one we got in the quiz book. HP plus fifty. Four nine nine four uh four nine nine four one three three seven. Wait, what? Did I do it wrong? Hold on, let me double check. Four nine nine 
499-513-37. Okay, I must have had a different number somewhere. HP plus 100. Two four eight two three six six five. This is from a key item secret memo. I don't know if we have it or not. HP plus two hundred. Five four six. Five four six six. Wait, five four six five four six one eight. Is that right? Yeah, five four six five four six one eight. HP plus three hundred. Zero eight seven four nine seven eight zero. For that, we get HP plus four hundred. Five five zero three one three two five. HP plus 500. Three, two, one, three, two, three, four, eight. Apparently this was uh, another key item that I might not have. We get the rush Navicust. One two zero four six two one zero. We get speed max. All right, six nine nice five four eight seven five six. We get tango. That is all the Navicust, and apparently that's in a uh, Soul Emblem key item that we don't have. Sorry. My ad is currently playing. I'll just let that play. What do you have? I don't need to buy some of these yet. I, I think I need to buy these three for now. I'll do that later. Uh, 30 more seconds. Let me just look through. 26, 16. I didn't have a lot of these chips, did I? Hmm. Oh yeah, the Falzar one is not counted. These are secret chips. Yep, that's normal. Five, four, two, one. All right, ad's done. The rest are sub chips, so let's just get this done. Eight seven three four one four eight nine. Apparently, this is in Greentown, the courtyard chairs by the flowers. Full energy. Oops. All right, three nine three four five four seven two. 
we get another full energy. Alright, four, five, five, six, six, seven, eight, three. Another full energy. Nine, no sorry, nine eight seven six six eight nine nine. We get a lock enemy. All right, six eight zero zero eight one nine four. We get another lock enemy. One six three, three six four, eight seven. Another lock enemy. All right, three seven four, nine five four, five three. Yeah, last lock. Man. Uh. Honor Knight. Oh, go grind my things. More than one. Yeah, uh, just doing a little bit of lot of grind. We're almost done with it. Honor Knight. How's it going? Uh, we're just doing up, doing the last of it. This, uh, we're doing the sub chips, and then we're almost done, and we can move on. I already took a look at the patch cards already. I downloaded like a couple things. I just have another page open. 794-591-46. Apparently, this is in the Skytown Operator Room Monitor. And we get Sneak Run. Alright, 741-987-95. Get another sneak run. Alright. One five five one one six seven nine. And that is another sneak run. Yeah, I decided to save the lotto stuff for after I beat the main campaign, at least during these streams, because I don't know. You're technically not able to find most of these, and I, you have to look up, look them up, you know. I just figured, eh, let's just save all the stuff for after being the game. Kind of like with patch parts too, and download chips. But then once you beat the game, it's full, uh, you know, go all out, you know. Nine nine nine, one zero nine five four. You get one of the unlockers. Which we will need. We'll need a lot of those. 825-64319. Apparently, this is in the cafe in Central Area 1. Another unlocker. Four one one six one one three nine. Another unlocker. Almost done. This is always the fun part of a Battle Network stream, right? The Lotto number grind. 047-89479. Apparently this is from a reference bank key item? I may or may not have it. Oh, it's an unlocker. Got them ASP on the didn't use muslim gotta get that authentic child experience yeah it's just like 
boot the game up as soon as you get the lotto numbers. Just pull up a freaking guide and just look them all up. I just decided to give myself that limitation when doing these streams. When I play like the other versions on my own time, I'm probably gonna do everything right away. And like, some of them are the, are like those download chips. Like, I wanted to play more authentically because I hadn't played these games before the Legacy Collection in like 10 years. And I wanted to basically play them how I played them. If I used some of those download chips, it would have been way too broken. <laughs> so like, yeah, anyway. 594-85971. Apparently this is in the Central Town Green Hall Expo set. We get an untrap. Oh, All right, two two eight one two four zero six. Another untrap. And zero nine zero 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 four six five that is untrap and that is the last of the lotto numbers at least as far as i'm aware that is done i can pull that aside except for battle network i don't think i can make it through that one without spacing out the patch cards well at least the first playthrough the playthrough normally i didn't i only use actually did i even do patch cards for battle network 4 i don't know I know I used patch cards in Battle Network 5 when I was doing, messing around with Base Cross. Just to test out, test it out and then also fight Base those two times. So I forget, Honor Knight. Is there, do you get anything to, for uh, defeating all of these navvies that are out and about in the copy bots? Or is it just, just, why not, you know? I don't remember getting anything for doing all of it. But it's gonna bug me that they're still here. Let's see. Got a corn shot. I think the plan right now is that I'm gonna go to Undernet 3. And I'm gonna go and I think I can access the next area. And of course, we're not gonna get rid of him. You never beat You never actually beaten BN6? Really? BN6 is really good. Alright. Next up, let's go to Undernet. Let's go to Undernet 3. We should be able to access a new area now. I really should open up all these places too, but we'll do that a little later. There's a lot to cover. Play the PvP, but never actually done the story. <laughs> wow, okay. That's that's not weird at all. I mean, granted. BN6 PvP is very good. I just like the cross system. I think it's like the best system they have. Well, if not best, then like second best. I forgot these guys are also out and about. Like in the net, too. I forgot about that. I thought it was just the copy bots. Well. Got rid of him, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I do think the cross system is better than the soul system. Purely because you don't get to have to sacrifice a chip. We don't let things like that root of uh, things that would ruin the undernet ever. <laughs> so there's infighting. All right. Off to undernet two. And also, I might as well... I think I can get Collect right now. So, I think I will go and do that. 
But, like, the next best one is probably Battle Network 3. Uh, actually, I, well, I don't know if it's next best, but Battle Network 3 has a good system. At least you don't have... The thing with Battle Network 3 is, you, at least you're not sacrificing a chip. But the problem is... And when you power up it, powered it up, you do get the Navi Cusp part, so it gives you a reason to test out everything. Test out each form. However, the problem with it comes from, once you pick a form, you're stuck in it. So you can't change your form mid-battle. So if you're just at a disadvantage, that's it. You're at a disadvantage. But at least in Battle Network 3, you can hold two of them and swap them, you know, on the overworld. The permanent weakness is rough. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you're playing PvP. Oh, wait. I just... I just realized that. Fire hit one. Or flame hook. Yeah, yeah. Now that I'm, like, really thinking about it, this is the best system that Battle Network has done. You can swap them at any time. You don't need to sacrifice a chip. Uh... And there's a whole weakness thing, so you gotta play to your enemy sort of thing. Get hit by your weakness, that's it. You're done. You're kicked out of that form. And then you're gone for good, basically. Or you can't use it for the rest of the life. That is not a hard plan. I think I like 3 in the sense that it force if you want to get everything, you need to use every form, every single form. But the problem with it is that you're stuck in the form no matter what. If you're playing PvP, well, if you picked a bad one, you're, you're screwed. You can't get out of there. At, at least with 4 and 5, you can choose when to go into form, even if you have to sacrifice a chip to activate. System is better, even if it's a little uninspiring. I could get that. I think it's more of like when you're first unlock your cross form, or not cross, just any of your soul forms in uh, three, it could be completely different because you might have played differently. I think it makes new playthroughs maybe a little bit more interesting. Finally got collect. I'll probably save up for sneak run next. I'll probably throw in Collect. Maybe a little later, though. All right. Since I did that detour, let's go ahead and get to under three. Let's go ahead and go ground. And we have these two. Oh, cross system was a on its really. I might have misread it. Let's get Tengu. The way you get crosses. Oh, okay, that's more what you do. You don't like the whole like you're going through a class to learn how to learn how to use them. I think it's more of a, it's a natural evolution of Battle Network 5. It's, uh, maybe they could have handled it a little bit differently. Yeah. I, I, okay, I can, I can see what you mean there. Like, think about it like this. Battle Network 5 gave you the ability to play as other characters, but only in the Liberation missions. So this game's like, hey, why don't we do something like that, but let's have you be able to play as them throughout the normal net. That's that's a step above Battle Network 5. The problem comes from how they actually implemented it. Be like, oh, you gotta... It's the Souls class thing, I guess. I can see that. Battle-wise, though, Cross is my favorite.
with four and with four and five, like I like the concept of souls more than what three and what two and three did, because I just like the whole fusion factor, you know. Like make it's Mega Man, but now designed to look like Aquaman. But I just never liked having to sacrifice a chip. I just never liked that. And you know, I'm there was always this part of me that wondered why does Aqua Soul and Aqua Cross look different when they're basically the same thing? But I think it's because they are technically two different types of forms. So because of that, they look completely different. Another corn shot? I do get another corn shot. And bug frags. So I think that's like the explanation on why Aqua Soul versus Aqua Cross looks completely different from each other. Well, I think I can have more corn shots in here. Oh, we're building that up. But yeah, what were the versions that you ended up playing for Battle Network stuff? I know you said you, didn't, you haven't played through the plot of Six yet, but what about the other games? We got Life Aura already, wow. There's Life Aura. It's not even a Mega Chip. It's not even a Mega Chip, okay. I do like a lot of changes that Six made, although so far the only change that I'm not the biggest fan of, at least at a glance, is that uh, the only change I'm not a big fan of is like, apparently, so normally you're allowed to have four chips of the same type in, and that's fine, but apparently there's now a limitation where it's like, if the chip itself has a megabyte count of 40 to 49. You can only hold two. And I'm not a big fan of that. I played all one through five. No, I get that. I meant more like, were you Battle Network 3 blue or white? Were you Red Sun or Blue Moon? Were you Team Colonel, Team Proto Man? What's like your main file that you would have played? For me, it's Blue, Blue Moon, Colonel, and Falzar. Sorry if I wasn't clear. There we go. It was blue whenever you could, so you were blue and blue moon, at the very least. What about Team Proto Man or Team Colonel? Nightman. Okay, that would have been Colonel. So far, we're kind of on the same mindset here. And I know you haven't played six. But it would either be Gregar or Falzar. And, well, I'm playing the one I, play I mainly played when I was a kid, so... That's so why I'm playing Falzar. Okay. I gotta get over... I don't know if I went the wrong way? You're playing Falzar? You're playing the bird? I think we're, we're on the same wavelength here. <laughs> we're on the same mindset here on our night. Same mindset. Okay, there we go. I think I found the right path. I really don't remember Undernet 3 at all. I don't remember this. Like, I don't remember if this is the cut one or not. Double Beast. 
Let's test this out. Okay, let's assume I need to line them up. Oh, wow. That is brutal. That is brutal. You see, uh, th this is why I didn't use download chips. Because that is so brutal. Playing through the main game with that would be broken. You know what I mean? That's kind of why. 420 damage if all connects. Oh, wow. And because they're all individual hits, you could totally... Uh... You could totally get, like, attack plus... Attack pluses on there. Like, that sounds so broken. Come on, I'm almost there. I, I don't- I really don't like this area. But it doesn't have an attack value. Oh, it actually doesn't affect it? Oh, you're right. You're right on that. I didn't catch that. Huh. So maybe it's not as great as I thought? It is random. I mean, to be fair, it is good. Especially if you're fighting a boss fight. I see, I see. Ooh, Risky Honey too. Throwing that in here. Let's get this in here. Still the highest damage mega chip when not counting weaknesses. Okay, that is true. It's the highest damaging baseline. Okay. It's still good. The road will open for those with Beast of Seal and 100 standard chips. The road has opened. Graveyard 1. Let me get through some of these. I didn't go through this. Yeah, I don't remember this entrance. I re I forget which area of Undernet was cut. You defeated a great evil. I've been watching you. Meteor Knuckle. Ah, Duo. Duo's just like, ah, you're doing good. Here's my fist. <laughs> Duo's just like, you've been doing good, Land Hikari. Here, I'm gonna lend you my power. And just rain down his fists of fury. Okay, yeah, we need to bring Aquaman and the others in here. Good old Meteor and Knuckle. Exactly. Exactly. I totally forgot it was Duo talking in Battle Network 5 until I looked it up. I'm like, oh, right, that makes sense. I don't think as a kid I put together that Duo was the one that was talking the entire time. What do we got? 100. Oh, also, in the English GBA version, didn't they cut out one of the graveyard areas? I'm pretty sure there was a single graveyard area. I, th I think that's right. So there were like two areas that were cut. One of the undernets, and one of the graveyards. Flashbang 2. I need to look up like what was changed. And I know these, act these maps were actually taken out too. Looks like there's a whole nother entrance. And I don't know how to get there right now. Yeah, I don't remember this map. This map is unfamiliar to me. Yeah, I think this one was taken out. Of English GBA. One. But yeah, imagine playing through the entire game with... Yeah, we need Aquaman for those two. Playing, playing the main game with having the ability of... The ability of using Beast. The Beast Cross chip. 
uh, double beast, that's the word. It will make some of the fights even easier. That's kind of why I didn't want to use these download chips until after beating the game. Yeah. Oh, it's blind. Okay. First it was stunned, now it's blind. I'm gonna grab Tengu, actually. There we go. I should have gotten rid of... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Got rid of it. Yeah, I need the HP. What's this? Okay, I can buy HP memories. Another M Boomerang, and I think I will do that. Static, Blizzard Ball, cro ooh, Cross Divide. That's going in for... Excuse me, why can I buy two? What is... Why can I buy a second Cross Divide? You can only hold one. What? I can only use one unless I use, like, Giga Folder Plus. But at that point, you might as well throw in a different ship. There goes most of my money. Uh, I mean, Crossified is a good ship. Like, two, okay. If you single target, it would be 500 damage. And you can throw in the, you can't even run more than one because it's more than 49. That's a good point. Then why let you have two? Why can I buy two? You know what you can do with it, though? Here's a thought. I'm not saying this is the reason, but here's a thought of what you can do with that. You buy two. If you know someone else that's also playing Falzar, you could just give them Cross Divide at the start of the game, and they could run the entire game with Cross Divide. Because you could trip trade, and I could buy two. You know what I mean? And the ring. Kind of wish they were the same code, but oh well. It's fine. You can't trade Giga Chips? Dang it! One in multiple folders? I guess. If you're into, like, changing this one into something else, yeah, I guess you could do that. Oh, there's an ad? Okay. We'll let the ad play for a second. Man, we already got a few, uh, Mega Chips. Or Giga Chips, I mean. I'm gonna go through this chip list. Kind of give an idea of what I'm looking for. Let's see. Okay. I'm surprised. Huh. So, Bug Death Thunder was the Bug Fragment shop. Yeah, I remember that. And the other two are. Okay. Okay, that's not that bad. All right. Hmm. So I need three more Giga Chips. One of them's in the Bug Frag Trader, and the others can be done. Oh, one can be done now. All right, ads are done. I was just taking a look at like the chip list. Oh, wrong way. Oops. Uh, let me grab Tengu. I'll grab this.
Yeah, I think the only reason you can buy the other Giga Chip, it has to be if you want a folder build. That has to be the reason. I can't think of anything else. Now that you point it out, since you probably said, since you probably can't trade the Giga Chip, makes sense. Honestly, that why you couldn't. Jenga two. Eh, no, you know what? Let's go ground. Go ground. I should have used Dust Man. Actually, I could have grabbed the. I could have grabbed the, uh, the, the blocks and gotten out of the way. There we go. That needs Dust Man. Or Tengu, for all I know. But probably Dust Man. Tomahawk, not that it's needed. And Boomerang is all that I need. Alright, what did I get? Zenny, bug fragments, I need those. I need bug fragments. And that's five bug fragments. So graveyard is a good spot to use lock enemy. Actually, that's a very good enemy formation if I want bug fragments. Not this enemy formation though, that's for sure. I actually don't have any sword chips. Let's get rid of this guy first. Get some health back. Uh, I can back. There we go. Green mystery data. Recovery 300J. Okay. I might as well throw in my recoveries and do that, maybe. They don't match. Maybe I could get another one. Yeah, vacuum, dust man for that. Okay, tomahawk, I gotta make this count. I can't get hit by you. There's that. Good. There we go. Got you out of here. I really should have thrown in collect. What's this? You hear the voice calling out from somewhere. This door can only be opened by the mark of M. Get every single mega chip. We can't continue. Yeah, I remember this area was taken out. Because I remember this was a different factor causing, and Legacy Collection caused problems because of this whole scenario. Okay, um, let me take a look at my Navicust. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and go to Green Area 1, and let's go buy some more Navicust that I'm missing. We're gonna have to get every mega chip to continue forward. Bug stop? I don't. I don't know if I have bug stop yet. Hold on. Let's see if I can buy everything from here. At least one of each. Okay, I'm still missing mega folder one and this. Okay. That's fine. Ah, uh, my money's used up. I might as well go ahead and use my all my compression stuff. So let's clear this out. Let's compress what I can. Alright. So, custom one. Oh wait, how do you how do you activate? Um you hold right. Okay. Hold right. 
L B B R B A A L R R. There we go. I get to a two. Okay. Uh, I need first barrier. There it is. B B A R A B L A R R. Man. Compression does a lot more than before. It actually gets rid of more than one square. R B B B A A A B R L. I don't have reflect. That's in undernet. Oh yeah, the bug trader trader undernet. Problem is, it's it got nerfed in five. If you press select, it'll ask you. Oh, really? It compresses on its own? Hold on. No, it's not doing anything. Select doesn't do anything. You have to input it manually. B L A L B R A L B A. Ah, uh, that one wasn't as good. But that's anti damage. Put shoe. R A L R A B L B B R B. A L L R A A B B. When you want to remove pieces from the Navi Cust, oh, you could just press select. Oh, I didn't realize that. I did not know that. That would be useful. Chip shuffle. Let's see. R R A B L R A R L A. That uses up basically the entire thing if you want to shuffle chips. I don't think it's worth it, but maybe it is. I don't know. We don't have access to that one yet. Some of these I'm gonna have to get from the requests from the download shop, whatever. Uh, oil body. L R A B A R B B L R. Fish. A R A A B A R R B A. B R B B B B B A R R. Five B's there in a row. A L A R B R A R L B. Oh, wait. Sorry. Oops. A L A R B R A R L B. Wait. Okay. Let me try that again. A L A R B R A R L B. There we go. Got it right. There we go. Third time's the charm. A L A B B A A A B A. I will probably throw this in. Uh, okay. Kill Navi and oh, I could. No, I can't buy that now. Poem. Uh, B A B A R R L L A B. B B B A A B A A B B. Huh. Uh, I'll heal 10% of your HP. Okay. I was always wondering how much that heals. B A A B B B A L B A. Nice quality white feature. Yeah, it is. Was that in any of the other Battle Network games? And I just didn't know about it. That was Buster Pack. Body. R L A B L R L A A B. So if you want super armor, undershoot, undershirt, float shoes, and air shoes, you have this. Okay. Oh yeah, here's bug stop. Let's see. Oh. I didn't know that's how you get this. We could get this now. Apparently, you get something for getting all of Vice from Nat ca uh, Net Cafes. We'll probably do those. Okay. R L B A A B A L L R. L R B B A L R A B A. And then Tango. 
B R B R R A B B R A. How good are the Rush Beat and Tango programs? Obviously, it's meant for. It's only meant for multiplayer, but are they any useful or is it like very niche to use? A A L A B R A L B A. Charge Max L L A L L B A B B B. Wait, how come I don't have this one? Oh, okay, I see. I see why I don't have that one. Okay. Anything else? Nope, that's it at the moment. That's all the compression I can do at the moment. Not completely. Russian beat or meta? Tango is a meme. Not completely a meme, but it's not great either. Okay. I didn't realize Russian beat are that useful in multiplayer. I never mess around with multiplayer. Snatches, Mega Chips, tracks enemies? Is it when you get blinded or something? Okay, hold on. I want to throw in... Well, I need Undershirt. I need that. Collect. I want Custom 1 again. I don't have Spin Blue? Huh. Prevents the first time an opponent uses an invisible... And invis and paralyzes them. Ah, okay. I can see why that's useful. I can't throw... No, I, I can throw in another custom one if I wanted to. I can. Anti-damage, float shoe. Hmm. How do I get spin blue? You know what? Spin blue must be a reward for something. Plus three each. Does that work? I might throw that in, actually. I used my chart shot enough. That might be worth it. Actually, wait. Hold on. Or is it better to throw in speed max and charge max? That might, that might be better. Charge max. And then throw in attacks. I can't throw in this attack one, though, sadly. Do that. No, I can't. I can't throw in this one. Wait, no, I can. Do this here. Ah, dang it. Wait. Okay, hold on. I'm making this work. Kind of a weird loadout, but I wanted to collect. I don't think there's anything else I would want. I don't need any of those. I can't throw this in. I think that's just what I'm using right now. There we go. Your buster pack you'll be at 444, four, four, and then you only need one attack, one charge. Yeah, speed is not that great, now that I'm really thinking about it. Yeah, you know, let's, uh, let's rearrange. Let's see how I can get that to work. Because maybe that would be better. Speed is not as useful than charge and attack. Buster pack, we throw that there. Then we need one attack. One charge. And hell. Oh no, I can't make that work. Wait, hold on. Maybe I can. I don't. Nope. We're gonna make we're gonna make the, uh, I don't have spin blue. If you don't have attack max, then buster pack isn't too bad. Okay. So I have charge, uh, charge and attack maxed out. I can't throw that in. There we go. I even have speed maxed out, because why not? No, I made it work. I made it work. See? Everything's maxed out. I even have collect and undershirt. 
There we go. That and custom one. You know that worked out. That worked out. Make a save. All right, we're not gonna be getting money for a little while. Legs go, Lan. And we got okay. We got stuff. To do. So we need mega chips. We need money. We need a lot of things. So let's go ahead and you know what? You know what? Let's go fight base in uh, in the undernet area. Because I lost to him earlier. Might as well go and fight that. Uh, go fight base in under in undernet. Get that going. Can get a lot of chips. I know we can't continue until we get mega chips, so we probably need to prioritize that. Hmm. What is a good spot to money grind? Is it just in getting green mystery data in Undernet? Oh, I'm missing like every mega chip. I'm missing like all of them. Here. Okay, here, let me pull up a list. Mega chips. So we got all the rolls. We haven't even. We don't even have access to Proto Man just yet. Uh, we need all the SPs. And. EX versions of all of the all of our five. Now let's see. Okay, technically we cheated because we got the EX of these three from one of the folders. But oh well. But we need to find Blast Man, Dive Man, Circus Man. Judge Man, we need to find Element Man and Colonel. It looks like that's another. Uh, the Colonel and Proto Man ones are going to be from. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, side quests. Is that really it? And then, like, our Navi chips. I thought there would be more to this. I thought there would be other uh, Mega Chips. Most of the Mega Chips are really just. The navvies, and that's it. You don't need opposite version of Megas because they are treated as secret ships. And you know what? It, since we are playing Legacy Collection, you know what we can do? We could go to patch cards, we could go into item cards, and go ahead and just grab the rest of the other versions right now. Like, I don't see any harm in doing these. Not what I meant to do. They really changed the mega chips to be only the navvies, didn't they? Because I'm so used to other stuff like Muramasa and Guardian being mega chips. I'm so used to that. There, we have every secret chip. All done. Not that it matters, it doesn't matter for 100%, and we probably won't use these anyway. These chips instead of using chip classes, huh? I don't know. I think I'd rather have the chip classes than the megabyte system, but that might just be me. Because honestly, I don't see any reason why Tri Arrow needs to be limited to basically just two. That's just me. All mega chips are navvies except for double beast, yeah. Oh wait, I wanted to get rid of you. Uh, we're gonna need Tomahawk for this. I think that's my only complaint about Battle Network 6 that I don't think I'm the biggest fan of. I say don't think because Maybe when I experiment a little bit more with the system, I'll change my mind. Alright. 
This is, there is a lot we can do. can swap to the other navvies and start opening up the like the water tiles and fire get rid of the fire use dust man do all that we can do we can set that up like, there's plenty of options why am i fighting these guys i'm not gonna get something different fight a bunch of navvies to be able to get to the next graveyard area. And that'll probably be the, one of the next main things I need to do. But I need to do some side quests so I can get Proto Man Colonel unlocked. Refuse to run from random encounter syndrome? Yeah, pretty. I'm pretty much the same way. But at this point, with because Battle Network doesn't have like a level up system like traditional RPGs, and I already have like all these chips, and it's not like I'm going to get Zenny out of it. But no, I'm pretty similar when I play RPGs. I just don't like to run from fights. Because that's extra money and EXP I could get. It, I usually... When I start running away from fights, that's how you know I'm near the end of the game. And I'm, like, wanting to, like, wrap it up, you know what I mean? How many times you run from fight? I never run from RPG sets. Uh, I know the Tales of games have a uh, a number of how many times you run away. I know other games do that, and there's no reason to usually have it higher. But it's like, yeah. All right, let's go fight base. I technically ran into him before. All right, round two. Let's go ahead and set up Tomahawk. And we'll get Double Beast. At least it pairs well with my Boomerang. So why are there two Mega Mans? Is it one Mega Man from an alternate dimension? Is that the explanation? Alright. Uh, we're almost ready for uh, flame hook. Oh, I miss. Oh well. Program advance. Flame hook one. Uh, okay. There we go. Done. It was that one. Damn you, Tales of Symphonia. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tales of Symphonia has a has that number there, number tracker. <laughs> You're not bad. I may let you entertain me again someday. Until then, keep training. See you around. So did base die between five and six? Phew. I never thought we'd meet base here. Huh? Looks like he dropped something. What is it? It looks like a key. We got a bat key. Key shaped like a bat. Maybe we can use this key somewhere. Someday, we're going to finish this base. So until then, we're going to train hard to bring you down. What is... Come on. Uh, there's a banner. Spin green, red, pink, white, yellow. I'm really just missing blue. If I... Bat key. A key shaped like a bat. Don't know what it's for. It's probably in the graveyard area. Alright, we fought base. Oh, you know one thing I do want to do? 
I, I'm in the middle of a side quest, but I need a certain ship. So, let's go ahead and grab that ship so I can complete the side quest. I need Timpani. So, I need to figure out where Timpani's at. I gotta pull up a virus list. Also, I, th I, I remember uh, being able to do a certain minigame. Ah, the virus, that's what it is. But how do you start this? Like, can I start this? No, I can't. But I need to go to class 1-2 comp, okay. I'll keep that in mind for a little bit. Because I was wondering how to start this. That's not what I was looking for, though. Okay, where's the Tiffany in me? I need to find that. Here we go. Uh, under net zero. I was just there. Okay. All right. Um, I need to go to under net zero, fight that enemy. I need to also mess around with the other navvies. Okay, let's go ahead and well, let's beat this guy because one. Not... No, not not Tama. Tengu. That's what I want. We are going to do this. Yeah, speaking of no running away. Final Fantasy V has something to where you don't want to run away, or you do want to run away. Uh, so in, ba in Final Fantasy V, at the end of the game, you have the option of choosing a the Brave Blade or the Chicken Knife. And their power dictates how many times you run away or not. If you get the Brave Blade, the power goes down. Every time you run away, it starts out capped altogether, but the power will go down the more you run away. Whereas if you get the chicken knife, the power starts at zero, but the more you run away, the more powerful it gets. And I pretty much always grab the chicken knife. Because let's be honest here, one of them going down versus the other one getting more powerful is way more useful. Oh, the ads are playing. I'm just heading to under net zero, so. I show up the green mystery day while I have a chance. money, I think I need to go to Undernet. Or Graveyard. Graveyard's probably better. Which I'm probably gonna head there anyway, now that I think about it. Maybe we'll do a set if I run into the enemy. Looks like ads are done now. It looks like the ads are done. I just... You haven't missed much. Just trying to get to under net zero. I haven't really said much. Uh, but yeah, the whole chicken knife and brave blade thing. One thing about the chicken knife that is a drawback, if you call it it, Every time you try to use a normal attack with the Chicken Knight, there is just a chance you'll just run away. 
So you'll try to go to attack and be like, oh no, I'm trying to run away. And it's a waste of, tur waste of a turn. However, there's a way to actually uh, ignore that. <laughs> if you use something like a skill, uh, like if you try to use a skill like power, uh, what was it? Like charge or like rapid fire, it will ignore the runaway mechanic of the chicken knife. So chicken knife is usually a weapon I tend to go for. Because there's a good chance I might accidentally run away and lower the power of the Brave Blade. Whereas I'd rather just power things up. Rag up two, alright. Okay. I do need to hang out here. come back. You know what? Maybe I should come back as Mega Man to look for it. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Makes it a little bit more interesting. And with Final Fantasy V, it's like... They're trying to get you like, oh, here's a trade-off. You better make your decision wisely. But it's always the better idea to just go with the, ch the chicken knife. It's like always the better option. There's always way. There's a bunch of ways to circumvent the whole running away thing aspect. And you can just make it more powerful by just doing a running away session. It doesn't doesn't take that long. Just go to a weak area and just hold L and R and run away. Okay. I know there's another Tengu Man section. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is what I need. I know there's another Tengu Man thing in Graveyard, so I think we're gonna make a trip all the way over there. We got fire hit too. You know what? I'll take it. I've been wanting fire hit too. And it's. Ooh. It's fire hit that I don't have. That means we could set up the next program in advance for it. R. S. T. Tag chips. I love the tag chip system though. I really do. Well, we're keeping that. That's for sure. Alright, now to throw it... Now to see if I can find the trumpet again. Um... Risky Honey 2. Tornado. Yeah, we'll just use the power of bees, I guess. There we go, we paralyze you. Why are why is Tengu Man able to paralyze like this? Like what's the reasoning? <laughs> and it only works when you hit them at the tip of the nose. So it doesn't have to do with the spike? They're just stunned that <laughs> it's just a long nose, be like, oh my god, I didn't realize it would reach this far. That's such a fantastic nose! There we go, another fire hit too. You know what, I'll come back in here later as Mega Man and we'll probably take the normal route. Alright, let's go ahead and head to Graveyard. Was there a Tengu Man spot in the underground area? Program Advance, Flame Hook 2. It's 350 damage. That, like, Flame Hook so far has been my most used Program Advance. I 
there was a cloud. I don't know if Tango Man can remove those by magic. I thought that's a Dust Man thing. I thought the clouds are Dust Man. I know there's a cloud in an undernet uh, graveyard, but you're saying there's a cloud in underground. I think that's a Dust Man thing. I haven't actually done any of the Dust Man stuff, so I'll take care of those later. It's kind of weird. I'm noticing that there isn't something for Ground Man to get rid of. Is this what I want? Yeah, one pinch. Up to Undernet. Alright. Yeah, you'd be you'd think there would be rocks for Ground Man to get rid of. Because you could have Search Man get rid of those too. Or, no, I'm sorry. Erase Man. Or Killer Man, however you want to call him. Because, you know, they have to get, give a uh, weakness for, like, everything. Yeah, I guess we could test out the cloud. Uh, since we're here. This guy can't just run into the nose. That's a stab. Yeah, where is it? Yeah, we'll go ahead and test it. Thick, dense cloud is blocking the way. It's too thick for the vacuum data to suck up. See, that it specifies the vacuum. So Dustman would normally do that. Wait, how do you get rid of the clouds in Gregar, then? It has to be... E you know what? It probably is Erase Man. And what is Charge Man for, then? Yeah, do you think... Do you think he would be able to? there was a shortcut to Graveyard. That would be very nice. Okay, an advanced flame hook too. There we go. Right, gotta get all the way through here. We don't need to get to Area Zero just yet. Um... Yeah, I guess. You know what? Why don't I just replace the Tengu main ship with the other one? Oh, whoops. Missed, missed that. There we go. Paralyze him. Maybe the tip of the nose is coated with some sort of... Uh, what, what would you call it? Uh, like some sort of, like, pollen or something? Even just a, a shortcut to Undernet 2 or 3 would be nice. Exactly. The closest shortcut you get is by using Dustman. But that means you actually have to use Dustman. Oh, look, no problem with using Dustman. Or uh, Erase Man if you're playing playing Gregar, but, like, I want to be able to take the shortcut as Mega Man. And the, I'm pretty sure I have all the shortcuts. That must be it. There must be something in the tip of his nose that's causing some sort of pollen or something that's causing some sort of status effect. Maybe pollen's not the right word, but, like, I think you understand what I mean.
Actually, now that I think about it, is the tip of his nose considered a sword? Asking the real questions here. <laughs> that sword guy again. I don't know if Tengu Man can get rid of him. Elemental-wise, no. Lore-wise, yes. Exactly. We just needed an elemental to be kind of sword-like. It's a sharp spike. If it can work against Dracula, it can work against, like, shadow enemies. Where am I going? There we go. Yeah, and I don't have a chip. Actually, no, d I'm, doesn't some of the beast out chips work? Or double beast? I'll probably just end up running. I'm pretty sure the game might be programmed to let you just guarantee run from a fight with those types of enemies. They did that in Final Fantasy 4. If you're running those enemies, they kind of let you just run away from them. Just in case you don't have those chips. Okay. Uh, let's focus on getting rid of you. Good. Paralyze you. The one problem with Tengu Man's charge shot, there is a big delay when you can start charging up your shot again. Oh wow, more Zenny. Ah, oh, come on. Down here. No, I'm getting lost again. Beast has any sword attacks? It, some of those claws should count as swords. You think, anyway. Fine, attack me. Fine, attack me three times. Risky honey too. Alright, got some HP back. I just don't like this area. I don't like this map. Oh, I I can't do I, I can't get rid of the green mystery data. I can't afford to do that. Oh, that's dumb! Tengu Man's thing attacks green mystery data? That's stupid. That is dumb. Tengu Man, you suck. I don't like playing as you anymore. That is very rude, Tengu Man. But at least I have another corn shot. At least I have another corn shot. May not be the code I would want, but it's another corn. It shouldn't do that. That is very rude, Tengu Man. Advance. Playing hook two. Wait. I already have Corn Fiesta. Uh, I only have it with the level 1 variant of the corn, though. It didn't seem as useful than just using the corn by itself. Corn Fiesta feels too random to me. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You know what, let's get rid of the 
first. Ah! Yeah, I think I got rid of you. It's also pretty funny. Uh, no, I get that. I get that it's funny. So, like, I don't hate it. I was gonna say, can we stop with the blindness right now? But just corn shot by itself is a pretty good chip. So I'm okay with just using it. You know what, there's probably a Tengu Min section in the next graveyard area, but, you know, can't get there yet, so might as well get what I can. Oh, two! Oh. Uh, doesn't work on this guy. And I have no way to get rid of the flame. It's like an H, it's like an H burst from like the spreader chips or program advance, but more random. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the shadow guy. <laughs> um. Well, I, I, mean, I already know that's gonna eat it up. I might as well, might as well test. Might as well test it out. That won't work. I just need the I need the tip of the the nose. Yep, it doesn't work. And let's test let's test it out because why not? Oh yeah, if you do any sort of wind attacks, there are sunglasses go off. Some of those attacks should have counted. Some of them should have. But no. It doesn't count. I need a proto man ship. Or something. Or kernel. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. We might do a quick run. Tomahawk. Yeah, Tomahawk Man is part sword. Which is nice. Because without Tomahawk Man counting for that, Mega Man would have no way to defeat those sword guys without having sword chips in his folder. So what I'm going to do, I already set up the save. I'm going to lock enemy. Yeah, that's a shop. I don't need that just yet. I want to do this fight over and over and over again. I'll just go ahead and... Actually, I could do this. Not flame hook altogether. Do that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Making the boomerang the regular. I think that's the first time I got meteor. Yes. You know what? We'll keep that... We'll throw this on the regular for now. That's a, yeah, smart idea. Try to get some money and bug fragments out of this. There we go. And out of the blue mystery data. Find out after this virus. There we go. This is a great, a great spot to Lock enemy. Get some more Zenny. Ten bug frags. I'll, I'll take it. It says, here lies Flash Man, Metal Man, Beast Man, Bubble Man, Plant Man, Desert Man, Flame Man, Drill Man, Night Man, Punk, Bull Man, 
Mist Man, Dark Man, Samurai Man, Serenade. Did they actually fix Samurai Man? Actually, no, they didn't fix it. Okay, wait a minute. So, Samurai, Samurai Man is actually supposed to be Yamato Man. <laughs> In Bound Network 3, they called him Japan Man. And now they call him Samurai Man, and I don't remember if that was in the original version of this game or if that was a legacy collection change. Either way, that is not correct. It's supposed to be Yamato Man. Yeah, no, this is a good spot if you want to lock enemy and get money in bug frags. And because I already saved with the lock enemy. I want to try to get as much of it as possible. Yeah, let's just try to use this as much as possible. By the way, you don't even need the level 3 boomerang for this. Because they're weak to wood, you could just use the level 1. I wouldn't mind having that one, but I want money and bug frags. I think we'll just do one session with the lock enemy. I'm not gonna do... I'm not gonna use the rest of the lock enemies. Yeah, that... Maybe I should have kept it. Maybe next time. But I got some Zenny. There, I'm making my Zenny back. Yeah, maybe I will keep it if I get it again. That way I have the same code. Yeah, you know what? We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Same code. Usually whenever I play a main campaign, I usually only have like two recovery chips in my folder at max. Not counting if I decide to have the roll chip. Like, I usually don't like to have more than that. Nope. Even though I need to probably get standard chips from them, I'd rather just focus on the green mystery data than leave. I'll get those chips when I come back as Mega Man. That, exactly. That is exactly the reason. Who needs healing from a boss fight if you can just not get hit? That was another recovery. If I remember correctly, based on what I looked at in Battle Network 5, how it works is each in-battle green mystery, mystery data has a 1 in 8... Uh, has basically 8 slots. Three of those slots is money. Three of those slots is bug fragments. One slot is one chip. The other slot is taken up by the other chip. I think that's how it works based on Battle Network 5. I still wish we had the Battle Network 3 system of getting bug fragments because I could just reflect cannons to get bug fragments. I already got that. I already got that. I don't need that. This is the one annoyance. This is the one annoyance about in battle green mystery datas. Mm -hmm. It is. It is very rough. In Battle Network 4, go. It was like Undernet. It, there was like a fight at Undernet 1 or 2. That was like super easy. It wasn't that comp. You know what? I actually gotta try for this. I gotta attempt this. Hold on. Because I need that chip. Is it the trumpet? It is not. 
Is that a new chip? I think so. If it is, I will just keep this. Yeah, that, that is new. I'll keep it. I was trying to get the trumpet in me. But there was a battle in, like, Undernet 1 or 2 in Battle Network 4 that was very easy, and the viruses wouldn't be able to destroy the Green Mystery Bear. I think it was I think it was a battle between like two or three fishy enemies or shrimpies. It was shrimpies. But they had no chance of actually hitting the green mystery data. So it actually was a not bad of a fight to grind for. In Battle Network 5, uh it turns out Nebula area and Undernet give the same rewards for in-battle Green Mystery data. It's the same amount as any bug, fra bug fragments. See what I mean? This is the annoying part. I keep getting chips. So, does collect affect green mystery data? Uh, I no, I don't think so actually. Unless they changed it in six. I mean, we could try taking it off. Actually, I can't take. I can't. I don't have Mega Man in me. I don't have Mega Man right now, so I can't affect this. You, here's the thing, it's still in effect. How? I, I'm th I think it's still in effect, isn't it? Because I don't remember getting any sort of Zenny. Oh, wait, nope, never mind, there's Zenny. That proved me wrong. Okay. Well, I got Zenny. I'll take it. Still haven't got any bug fragments, but that's okay. I just need something. Either Zenny or bug fragments. I'm fine with either. But yeah, in Battle Network 5. Undernet green mystery data and Nebula area green mystery data gives the same amount of Zenny and Bug Fragments for whatever reason. I don't know why. They really should have upped the amount. Oh, there's a there's an ad. Well, I'll just keep running around. You're not missing much. Not even getting bug fragments. Maybe there's something different about in battle green mystery data. In six. like the ads are done. I did give one set of Zenny from Green Mystery Data. And there's five bug fragments. We'll keep that. Again, normally I try to wait on ads, but let's be honest, it's the grinding session or this this grinding bit. You know what I'm doing. You're not missing much. But yeah, Battle Network 5. I ended up if you're grinding for bug fragments. It's best to actually go to one of the... I think it was like the first couple internet areas. Undernet areas, actually. Oh, it's the undernet area with the subchip dealer. Because there's the subchip dealer that can let you buy lock enemies. 
So what I would do is make sure to get at least, I think it was like two Zenny rewards. And then just keep resetting until I get bug fragments. That way, the Zenny that I make can pay for lock enemy. There's that. Okay. As far as I know, we're done with Tengu Man at the moment. We got plenty of Zenny. Before we go to, like, Aquaman or Dust Man, there's a side quest that we can start that I didn't know it was. This is how to go. But if you just want money in Battle Network 5, the fastest route was to go to... Uh, I think it was End Area 5. Just go and start the Liberation Mission. And uh, once you do that, just get the Zenny reward from the Liberation Mission with, like, Number Man. It's like... Turn one, do that. And then... And then just run away. It's so quick. But if you want Zenny, go to Undernet. Or, if you want... If you want Bug Fragments, go to Undernet. If you only want Zenny, do the... Do the mission. There we go. Got that set up. I need to go to class, I think it was 1-2. Fine, I'll get rid of you. Top, oh, you know what? No, we'll go ground. Go ground. I'm pretty sure there's nothing for actually doing all this. It's just gonna make me feel better. Alright. So, there's someone in here we need to talk to? Is it you? I may look like this now, but I used to be a vi famous virus professor. However, years, expo years exposed to viruses turned me into this. You wouldn't want to buy a virus, would you? You have the battle card I developed. You can store virus data inside. When you have viruses, you can enter a virus battle taking place in a comp. You can buy one with two viruses for 5,000 zenny. No, make that 2,000 zenny. How about it? Thank you. All right, here it is. All right, so if you check around the cyber world, there are extremely rare viruses with rare in the names. If you delete a rare virus, you can get its data. You can store its data in the battle card. If you want to enter a virus battle, find a different colored Mr. Frog and talk to it. Mr. Frog's whereabouts? This should be near places with dogs or robots. Oh, okay. Go find them for yourself. I've been meaning to start that up, but I didn't know how to start it up. Yeah, there's like a little virus battle mini game. Almost taking like one aspect of Battle Network 3 again. All right. So let's see. We can use Aquaman. We could go get the chip. We can. Oh, what to do? What to do? Yeah, you know what? Let's go. Let's go get get Aquaman. And we'll go open up a few of the pathways. Yeah. I don't think I will need to virus battle for a little bit, though. Because remind me, like, can I just get all the viruses right now and then do all the virus battle stuff? Or is it something to where once you beat a league then you have more access to other viruses. I forget how it works. I think I'd rather just wait until I get more viruses.
Too bad you don't get anything in there. Oh well. Alright, Aquaman, I need to borrow you again. Alright. So, let's go ahead and take Aquaman to... He needs to get to... Undernet Zero. From Undernet. And we need to get to... Graveyard. Is there an Aquaman spot in... Is there one in the underground? Or is it just us, man? Actually, you know what? I wonder if I can, like, pull up a list. Uh, let me see. Gates, that's what they're called. Hmm. Oh, I'm reading that with Gregar, you're supposed to use Water Towers with the Erase Man, Elect Man gets rid of the clouds, and Charge Man gets rid of wind. Weird. Japan's Beast Link, no Beast Out, Crossover, Busting Level, Chip Traders, Changes, I might pull that up actually. Cross System Element Types, on the Window, Any Guides, Folders, Glitches, Link Navvies, Localization Changes, I might look that up too. Navi Cost, Panel Types, Patch Cards, Power Up, Press speed, yes. screen dimming, cut in, shop location, cyclist. Maybe cyclist? Hmm. I have that. CC3, chip trading. Here we go, here we go. Okay. So, oh, okay. So, fire pillars can be get, gotten rid of with Heat Man, Charge Man, Aqua Man, or Tengu Man. Oh, you can use Tengu Man to get rid of fire. I didn't realize that. Yeah, there's a fire and water pillar in the graveyard. Uh, and I figured you'd need Aqua Man for both, but I didn't know Tengu Man can get rid of fire pillars. Cyber Trees. Heat Man, Slash Man, Tomahawk Man. Oh, and Ground Man can get rid of the trees. I didn't realize that. The Geysers, you can use Elect Man, Erase Man, Aquaman, and Ground Man. You can use Ground Man to get rid of geysers? Huh. Clouds. Elect Man, Erase Man, Tomahawk Man, and Dust Man. I didn't know Tomahawk Man could get rid of the clouds. And it also turns out... Oh, t uh, and for the tornadoes, Slash Man, Charge Man, Tengu Man, and Dust Man. I didn't realize Dust Man could also get rid of tornadoes. I didn't know this. I thought some of these were very specific. Okay, well, let me go to... 
there's a cloud in underground one. There's uh there's a tornado in under in underground one too. However, I can use Dustman for both of them. Now that I know. Underground two has a fire pillar. So I better go and grab that. What's the fastest route? I think it's just head straight there. Undernet zero. There's like what, three entrances? There's a fire pillar via Undernet 2. There's a geyser via Undernet 1. There's a cloud for Undernet 1. The tornado for Green Area 2. Okay. And there's a tree in under inside Undernet 0. Okay. Graveyard 1. There's the geyser. There's the cloud. There's another route to Graveyard 1 through Graveyard 2, but I can't do that just yet. Tornado, which I got. Okay. So, we need to go to... Yeah, it seems like the opposite. Exactly. I think it's like Tengu Man can use strong enough winds to just get rid of all of it. I think that's the idea. Like, Tengu Man's, like, wind is just that powerful. Gets rid of all of the fire. You know what? I should buy this. That, now I can do the yo-yo program advance. So, it turns out every element tile or element gate, there is two navvies that could get rid of them per game. I didn't realize that. So I could have brought Tengu Man under here, but we'll do we'll bring Dust Man down here. Let's see, where is the exit? It's this way, right? I need it to two. I should probably fight these. There we go. Don't look on the grind. Yeah, exactly. If you're heading out, well, uh, then have a good day. It's gonna be a long grind. Ah, just a hundred zenny, that's lame. Okay. Underground 2. We need to find the fire pillar. Where is it? I didn't get this blue mystery data? Oh, right, because I was already, like, ground man when I came here. And thanks for the follow, Honor Knight. Thanks for the follow. Again, if you're heading out, have a good day. You can just be working on this. Alright. I will be playing this tomorrow on or night around the same time. Uh, but because I'm gonna be busy IRL, I won't be streaming... Thursday and Friday, and all of next week because I got stuff going on. But after that, it'll be back to my normal schedule. Oh, is this what the back key is for? Oh, this might be what the back key is for. I need to come back. I need to come back through here as Mega Man. Let's see. Let's see if I can get anything. There we go, double delete. Come on, new chip. Zeddy. Mocker Super, Super Vulcan. That. Again, I'm so used to that being a mega chip. A 10 shot Vulcan. That's 200 damage right there. 
Let's see, what can I get rid of? I could get rid of Tengu Man, honestly. I don't really care to use it. Django's just kind of here. Django's just kind of here, honestly. Actually, can I throw Airspin 3 in here? No, that's Tornado. Windrack, not what I'm looking for. Airspin 3. Uh, at least I'll do that. I need another airspin. I need to look up how to get it. Green Mystery Data. Fire and Zenny. There's the Fire Pillar. And we get Sub Memory. There we go. Let's leave. Go back in. Alright. Now let's go to Graveyard. Graveyard. Actually, we also need to take a trip to Undernet Zero. But we're heading that way anyway. Right. So Dustman and Tomahawk Man can get through clouds. That's weird. the rare variant. Okay, let's see if I can get Drip Shower going. Do I have to get a good ring? You got the new virus fighter plane. There we go. There, we got a fighter plane. I think every virus has a rare variant, but I don't know if there's a level 2 or 3 variant. I think it's just like there's one version of it. to Undernet Zero, and I might as well go to the Bug Frag Trader while I'm here. Or should I save up for... Nah. Even though I will need de uh, Bug Death Thunder eventually. I think I'd rather get my Sneak Run. Boomerang. Perfect. Another Fire Hit 2. Under at zero. There's another route in Undernet two. Let's check over here. Okay, we need either Dustman or Tomahawk for that. Come back here with Tomahawk Man and Dust Man, or Tom, or just Tomahawk Man. All right, let's try this again. Drip Shower. Got him. Zenny, come on! I need to come back here. Back here is Tomahawk Man. Um, not the best rabbit on that, but 
put it all down. Come on, chip. Come on. Not the right one. Okay. What did you want? Oh, yeah, the folder. Right. I already have. I already activated that. Um. I think I'll do this, but go back here. We got the program advance. Flame hook two. Fine, he's in the back. Whatever. I can live with that. Zenny and bug fragments. Four bug fragments. I'll keep it. Oh, he's the one that sold the World 3 card. Come back into Undernet Zero with Tomahawk Man. Well, we won't take Dust Man in here. Why take the trip? And I can just use Tomahawk. Alright, let's go here. Trip shower. There we go. Now to get to Undernet 2, we gotta get to the Bug Frag Trader. Might as well trade some stuff in. And then we gotta get to Undernet 0 from there. Then it's off to Graveyard. And some extra Zenny. Very nice. We're gonna have to do Navi hunting soon. Can't continue to graveyard until I do. So I might as well take care of some of this cleanup. Okay, let's go all the way over here. shower. I love it. I love that he could just run into it himself again. Mid-attack. There we go. Not my favorite charge shot, though. Not my favorite. It takes a little too long to load up, and honestly, the cracked tiles honestly hurt him more than it helps. At least based on how I'm using it. Corn shot. See, now I can't hit him. T unless I did something like that. Dustman area. What's this? Alright. I want sneak run. And we'll save the rest. I can't I can't compress it just yet. I don't have Mega Man at the moment, so we'll hold off. Oh yeah, this shouldn't work. Yeah, double beast doesn't take plus tens. I get why it doesn't do it for a balancing issue, but uh, it's kind of disappointing that it doesn't take plus 10s, because it would be amazing if it did. 
Um... Probably could have done it differently with like this. But it worked out. Another moon blade. I don't need that. Alright. What's this? Honestly, a uh, stranger's point. I don't know how to get past that yet. Flame hook two. Man, Element Man is not going to survive with Flame Hook 2. Basically, for 700 damage, if Grass Tiles are involved. Oh boy. 1,400 right there. Um. I can get rid of one right now. Fragments, I'll take it. One more thing, I think I could buy like super armor or something. Alright, got that done. Five bug fragments. Not bad. And there's a fire pillar somewhere. We could go roll and fire hit. Oh. Looks like ads have started. It looks like ads have started. I'm going to take a second. Fill my water. Looks like ads are done. Figured while that was going, I go refill my water. All right. <clears throat> Let me swap it over. Yeah, I'm trying to just pause the game for a second while ads play. Now that I can see how long the ad's gonna last. Jeez, you make, you make one change in a setting and all of a sudden it's now better.
and and he gives you a compression code for I don't know what. All right. Well, that's active. That's taken care of. Anyway, off to graveyard. There's a fire pillar and a water tower in graveyard. Once I get that taken care of, go ahead and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, let's go back. Hold on. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. Never mind. I was going to buy another... Uh, uh, Navicus with bug fragments. Oh, well, too late. I'm not going to go put him back. Not right now. Uh, go with this. Trip shower! Ah, uh, dang, I got hit. There we go. Got him. Okay. So... Let me get through this place again. Um, trip shower? Trip shower. We'll go here. Just some Zenny. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't complain about Zenny. I do need it. Four, five, and six really want you to spend a lot of Zenny on stuff. Party two. Get this going. HP back. Good. Good. No, I'm going the wrong way again. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go here. I really don't like this map. Alright. Let's go ahead and try... Yeah, we'll grab Risky Honey. No, wait, uh, Risky Honey 1 would probably be enough. Like, Risky Honey 2, whatever. Okay, made it work. Shots for. Yeah. Never mind. I can't handle a corn shot. Not with this rock in the way. Stupid rock. Well, that was a waste. Right. That path. Down here. 
here. Let's go grab the green. Eventually, I'll have this place memorized. I can use this right here. I'll get this place memorized at some point. Oh, I can't do anything. I can't hit him. Gonna have to use bees. There we go. Bell Thunder 2. I'm pretty sure I had that already. Made to graveyard. Again! Fire tower? And another crushing code for a program that I'm not sure which one, because they don't hint at it. Let's get them to attack down here. Says, here lives gutsman, roll, glide, numberman, fireman, stoneman, iceman, colorman, bombman, magic man, skullman, shark man. Again, what's the implication? Because like, a lot of these characters are you know still alive, like roll and gutsman. And glide, you know? Is this is this just eerie for the sake of being eerie? I mean maybe. Honey. Alright, that wasn't that great. Let's get rid of the water tower. Wrong pathway. Can't beat this guy. Alright, get rid of the water tower. Blue mystery data. HP plus 300. Viruses. gonna die. Watch. Okay, no, I ate the hit. There we go, Django.
Here lies Airman, Quickman, Cutman, Shadowman, Nightman, Magnetman, Snakeman, Gateman, Freezeman, Pharaohman. Alright, we're done there. So, we need to go to to use Tomahawk Man and Undernet Zero. There's a cloud in Graveyard 1. But looking at the reward, we could probably just save that for later. And wait until we have access to Graveyard 2 and then bring Tomahawk Man. Maybe. Well, I don't know. doesn't really matter. Okay, um, under net zero, there's a cloud and a tree for Tom Hawkman, and underground, there's a cloud and there's a tornado. And Dustman can take care of both of those. Alright. Is it my computer or did we crash? Might be the laptop. Yeah, it's just the laptop. It's fine. All right. <clears throat> All right. We need to go to Dustman and Tomahawk Man. So let's go. Let's go Seaside. Let's go ahead and use Dustman, and we have to go all the way to Underground. Let's clear this up. Because why not? There we go. Air Spin 3. Ow. We got rid of 2. There's the third one. I clear you out. Why not? Get rid of you. Oh, this might be hard. Okay, hold on. Let's go Aqua. Set this up. Hook two. Made it work. Made it work. It's too bad I didn't get a chip out of that. Oh, wait. I just remembered. Let's go ahead and compress Sneak Run. Where is it? Sneak Run, Sneak Run. There it is. B B B A B B A A R B. There we go. Make sure that's done. Okay, let's go all the way to Dustman, which is over here. He's all the way in Undernet, too. Isn't that convenient? I might as well just go ahead and buy whatever program I want. Uh, too bad Reflect got nerfed. We got super armor. Here. Oops. 
Oh my. Here. Oh, come on. Uh, boomerang, come on. Got it. Triple delete. Now just time oh wait, you can't times two it because it doesn't have an attack value, can't does it? Yeah. Yeah, that won't work. Well, while I'm here. You know I it's funny, I while well, I was here with Tomahawk Man, I could have done that. We got spin blue. Finally. Broken Mr. Pog. It repeats he keeps repeating the same thing over and over again. Gives you a compression code for what? I'm not sure. That's just one of those things where you need you just need to write that down. You write that code down, right? And then you're supposed to just get every Navi customizer program and then test it out on every single one of them to see if it works. And then once you find the one it works, then that's how you mark it. It's not my favorite system. Hmm. But I guess that's how you're supposed to do it. Enemy just did not want to jump onto the front panel. Almost there. There we go. Underground. Alright. See, where is the dust cloud and the tornado? of a Navi. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. Another compression code. Again, you don't know what it's for. You just need to test it out on everything. Bubble Star 1E. Okay. Okay. Um. Try this. shots. There we go. That worked out. Yeah, let's get the HP back. I'm okay with that. Uh, where could the next one be? There's a hidden pathway somewhere. You see that right there. Uh, okay, I think the tornado's in the top right. Wait, is there something in the... Come on. Okay, here's the tornado. And we 
got another guy here. Data remains of an Abbey. Keeps saying the same thing over and over again. Another compression code. I mean, I opened up the gates, but it's like, at what cost? It wasn't really that useful. Right, Molly? You agree with me. Not that useful. Yeah, I know. I need to go up there to get, use that unlocker. I'll use this unlocker. Air shoes. Okay. I can't do this. All right, I'm gonna go back. I'll grab that unlocker. Because I guess I missed that. Probably because I didn't have an unlocker when I came here. Can't do this. No! Flame hook to the- Oh, that's the rare virus! Sweet. Perfect. And... So Zenny, we got the virus sortie. Good. Get that going. Unlocker. And circle gun P. Okay, whatever. That's done. I did just get a couple new Navicus programs, so let me go ahead and compress them. Uh, super armor. A, B, L, L, A, A, L, R, B, A. And then I just got... What did I just get? Air shoes, air shoes, there it is. A, R, B, A, B, R, R, B, A, L. Is that the only one I got? Or was there another program I got somewhere? No, that's it. Alright. That's fine. Hey Sydney, how's it going? I already beat the game yesterday, so now I'm working on the 100% grind. Just doing like a bunch of cleanup stuff. But then I'm gonna have to go after go after the boss fights to get their chips soon, so I can get all the mega chips. So I can move on to Graveyard 2. I am doing fine, just getting things ready to go beforehand. Had some, had some new things to take out before I started streaming. Tomahawk Man, and we're going to Undernet Zero. And I think we just need the route from Undernet One. Get both the tree and the uh, cloud. Over here. And right. Nope, wrong way. Again, uh, not much has happened so far. Ooh, big hat. Another rare big hat. And not much really going on so far, just uh, been playing this. I had to do so, uh, like an errand or two beforehand, but other than that, just been this, so not much going on. Right, what's been going on on your end? Okay. Down here is a cloud. Oh no. Well, 
it, it happens, right? And you know, Tomahawk Man is so strong with his axe, he could just chop clouds away. Because that's how it works. Another compression code. Wow, that is so useful. And it doesn't even tell you what it's for. How's the game going? Game's good. Game is good. Again, beat the game yesterday, so doing a lot of the cleanup stuff. Working working on the actual 100%. VDOL F, good. I think I... Wait, did we crash or... No, that's just laptop, that's fine. Okay, and uh, an ad's about to hit in like 10 seconds. I'm gonna look up... Oh, thank you, Sydney, thank you. Ad's about to hit. I'm gonna look something up while the ad is playing. There we go. Or was the ad just playing? And the ad's done now. I don't know anymore. Let's see. I already did the ones to side two. Green area ones taken care of. Sky area, yep, done, done. It's done. Got rid of the geyser. Underground 1 and 2 are done. Underneath 0 is all done. It's just the graveyard with Dust Man. Which I can come back and do later. And then anything in Graveyard 2 I can't do just yet. can look at this later. I think the ad was... <laughs> oh no, there's the ad. Jeez. Took a little bit for the ad to pop up. Why did it take so long? Alright. <clears throat> Let's head to... my house. I need to go to Undernet Zero as Mega Man and get that one show. Let's go take care of that. Bad may be playing, but I can't go. should be done. Don't know why it took a little bit for the ads to run. Anyway. Did you take a bath? What do you mean, Sydney? What do you mean did I take a bath? I take showers every day, thank you. I don't know what you're trying to imply. He must have got hit one by... Yeah, he got hit by one of the arrows. That's what happened. Alright. Now that we're back in Undernet Zero as Mega Man, let's go find that trumpet. I'll just run back and forth here. Here. <laughs> and it's all good. Oh, oops. 
Land's like, let's go back to the expo site. No, I gotta do side quests. Who cares if the world's in danger? Yeah, it's all good. One of the side quests I'm working on, this guy wants, like, a certain chip, so I have to go hunt for a virus. How's my dog? She's doing fine. She's... Molly, what are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? She's just hanging out. What are you doing? What's going on? Now, since I called you over, this means you want attention, right? Is that what it is? Okay, hold on. Come here, Molly. Come here. Come here. Because you have your bone doesn't mean you want attention. Come here. Come here. She's distracted by her bone. <laughs> well, there she is in the back. <laughs> She's fine. She's got her bone. She doesn't want attention. <laughs> Which is shocking. She usually does. Let's grab Tengu. She's shy? Well, no. She just wants her bone. She doesn't want any attention right now. I'm shocked. She doesn't want the attention. Oh, wait, there you are. She dropped her bone, so he had, she had to make sure to go back down and get her bone back. What are you doing? Okay. She's just being weird. Being weird. Just Tengu. I, hmm. Do I want to use Tengu? No, we'll go, we'll go ground. Plan, but it worked out. Yeah, dog's just being the dog. She just doesn't want attention right now. It is what it is. I might have a new chip. And where is... I might just start running away from some of these guys. Once I get the trumpet, I think we could do a few more side quests, and that's what we'll focus on for a little while. Awesome. <laughs> you are not a dog. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, let's go... Go Grant. No. Yeah, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go ground. Then we'll go... Django? Go down here. Motorcycle. You. Done. But yeah. Yeah, this, this is now at the point where we're just doing all the cleanup stuff. We'll do super bosses, but we have to collect things to unlock the door to do super bosses. I'm gonna run for this. And how these games go with ever since starting with Battle Network. Actually, I think with Battle Network 2, but it works slightly differently. If you complete everything, you unlock a harder version of the final boss fight. And by harder version, I mean it has way more HP. And it's stronger. Actually, the last one was really hard. About an hour five. It took me like an hour to beat that version. Of the final boss, I should say. Oh, I could go back to underground because I think I can use the key. What's that in graveyard? I don't know. Where's this trumpet? 
It's supposed to be here. Maybe if I look up ahead, I can just... Still nothing. The difficulty of the game. Especially when it's like... Uh, it, it does make the game fun, especially since it's like your final reward for doing everything is a harder version of the final boss for your one final challenge. You may not, I was going to say you may not get anything out of it, but no, these games give you a uh, congratulations for 100% of the game screen after the end credits when you do. So it does kind of give you something. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Flame hook two. Come on, trumpet. Come on. Reflector. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and lock enemy. Because I really need that. I really need that trumpet. You know, this is all for the Game Boy Advance, too. Like, these games, they pack a lot into them. Let's go ahead and go... Wait. Not counting Battle Network 1, because that was the shortest, but every other game... 100% takes me about 60 hours. Based on, like, my final times on, like, all the other games. Uh, so, like, for a Game Boy Advance game... This is actually really good, and I think Game Boy Advance games back in the day was 30 bucks. So, even if these games are not that hard, or I should say, because I've played these games a lot, I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. The game has the whole folder building mechanic. Uh, the folder building system to where it's like, each new playthrough, even if it's not hard, you could try building a completely different folder and run through the game that way. Let's go Tengu. And also this... Starting with Battle Network 3, this series did the Pokemon thing where there's two versions. And... You know, like... In Battle Network 6, in this case, you saw those five forms I could turn into? If I played the other version, I could get a different five characters to play as. So it ch that by itself kind of changes your fold the building format of your folder to work with that in mind. There's a lot you can do. This game has a lot of customization. Part of the reason why I liked it. Play a fighting game before Injustice 2 Part. You had to beat 15 bosses in a week? Hold on, let me reread that. Hold on, let's see if I get the trumpet. And nope, the game is not letting me have that trumpet. So, you're saying in Injustice Part 1, there's some sort of achievement or something? And to get it, you have to beat 15 bosses within a week? Am I reading that right? Like, how hard are these bosses? I'm assuming this isn't a PvP thing, right? RNG, give me the trumpet. Gave me sandworm. Yeah, how it works is uh, when you finish a uh, when you finish it, it rolls whether you get a chip or you get zenny. And in this case, I have it set up to where I'm only getting chips. But then once it decides to roll that you're getting a chip, it then rolls again 
on which virus do you get a chip from. This is, this is fun, I swear. I'm getting Reflector. Maybe I need to lower my rank. Yeah, I need to lower the rank. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Let's go beast out. Become bird. No triple delete, so we got rank 9, and we get the sandworm again. I need the trumpet shit. Why can't I get the trumpet? The bosses were to unlock at any new character, and there were a total of 135 characters in a week. We can only unlock 4 to 5 characters. Worms. Okay, am I doing this right? Hold on. Where's the virus list? Okay, that's not what I need. Uh, it's Penny. It's not telling me where to get the chip code, though. It's just telling me where, what it does. Okay. Let's see. I must just be very unlucky right now. No. Every boss at last stage took. Characters. Is it like. Is there just that many characters? Or is it like character skins like a different costume by. Because there's no way a fighting game has 135 characters. The only one that came close was Smash Ultimate. Can I get this stupid ship? What am I doing wrong? That. And I already know it's like it's just luck at this point. There are like different versions of Superman and other heroes according to the categories. Yeah. Uh, And when you say boss, I'm assuming it's like arcade mode where you have to do like five to ten battles and the final battle is like a boss fight. Like a soup like a souped up boss fight like with I don't know, like Seppin Wolf Dark Side. I don't know who the boss would be. And if you beat that person, you beat that boss, you get an unlock. A new character unlock. Yeah, I'll use Tango. Actually, wait, no. Actually, I won't. I'll go Aqua. Sandworm again. Okay, what am I doing wrong? I need to look up. I need to look up the Tipani chip. Uh, so maybe there's another spot. That's just the list of battle chips. Chip locations and not ones. Not what I need. Here we go. Let's try this. 
I'm just reading under... I'm, I'm just unlucky right now. I'm just very unlucky. Internet zero, yep. I'm reading this right. Although I am reading... No. Rank A through S. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Like, I got everything right. Finally. Oh, my God. Got it. Okay. That side chest is ready to go. It will be fun. I bet. But again, uh, if I do Unjustice, I'll probably play the first one as well first. Especially since there is a story mode. I need to go to class uh, 6-2. Oh yeah, and one other thing that makes Battle Network so fun. There's PvP here. There's PvP. So, you have like your whole folder building thing, you have your different forms to mess around with. It, it's a lot of fun. Again, for the Game Boy Advance, this is a highly recommended thing. Did I get all the chips? Let's get an ensemble. Here's your reward. Reg up two. All of that for a reg up two. Okay, fine. And I'm A rank. Now I can do level three side quests. Have a good. Uh, it's working in a punch. Ah, uh, thank you for stopping. Thanks for stopping by, Sydney. Doing some more side quests today. Oh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day, Sydney. Playing just first with the story mode. Exactly. Exactly. Do more side quests. I think I could do the rest now. Oh, nope, there's four stars here. Yeah. Can't do any of those just yet. So, time capsule. It's almost time for me to dig up the time capsule that I buried as a kid. And I have to be the first to get to, to get it. However, I completely forgot where I left it in the ground. If you can help me, please come to Green Town Plaza. So three star, it must be very difficult or very time consuming to do this. Green area. Gotta go to the plaza, which Probably just one of these areas over here. No, I'm just in Greentown. I'm the requester. I was hoping you would listen to my request. I would like for you to find a time capsule I buried many years ago in Green Area. Bring it back to me. You may think that since I buried it, I can find it. But I don't remember where I buried it. Not to mention, there are phony time capsules. Why? I will spring a virus if you uncover them. Why would you do this? You should look for time capsules at the base of cyber trees. Good luck. Why would you do this? Why would you set it up this way? What purpose does it serve? I don't understand this guy. Uh, let's go Aquaman. We'll have Tri Arrow. Just two charge shots get rid of him. Alright, now we'll go Tengu. Maybe I should have started with Tengu. And Double Beast. There we go. Done. Go ahead and go in here, and I gotta check for a time capsule at the base of Cyber Trees. Could be any of them. Any of them at all. Oh. Okay. Let's see. I think we're talking green area too, though. Anything over here? No, there isn't. Not 
knocked out. What do you two have to say? Special, as special Riot Net Police members, we sure make a pretty pair. You can't think of us as your normal kind of girls. Yeah, you're part of the police, I guess. Or the net police. I could probably start running from some of these fights. Unless there's a rare variant. Okay. Are there any trees in this area? Or is it just green area 2? I think it's just green area 2. chips. I don't need Risky Honey 1. Nothing. I don't need this. Sneak run might be useful, but I need collect, so. I also still need to find the rare enemies, so I need that chance. Nope. Green mystery data? 1,300. I think it's just in. I think it's just in being green area too. Check the base of cyber trees. And he's like, I planted like ten time capsules. Only one of them's real. You know, to deter from people stealing from my time capsule. But. I'm pretty sure m not many people are even knowing that they're even there in the first place. Why even set this up? Why are you doing this? Let's see. What do we got? It's probably over right there. No, we don't need this. Okay, you know what? Let's actually do the cafe stuff. There are times when it makes me want to keep fighting. We get your HP recover. Have you ever heard of this one before? There's a huge tree growing in the center of green area too. I heard that people being spirited away. That's how you're supposed to find that info. Scary, huh? That's how you get the secret uh, to uh, Underground Zero. heard this one before. There was some strange guy in here who kept babbling. There's another compression code. Is this some kind of spell? I felt refreshed. Is that referring to uh oh is that the code for what was it? Like HP recovery? Auto heal. Yeah. That might be the one for auto heal. I didn't really look. Have you heard this one before? I heard there was a program that will make your navy a real funny man. Sounds useful, doesn't it? Hey there. Have you ever written a poem? Apparently, there is a poem that will make you an expert poet. I wonder who made that. Well, I have the program. For poem. Sure do come here often. I'm quite happy. I, I've got I've got to take care of my regular customers. So I like you to have this. Anti-sword. It's a star code. Using it would make me really happy. Is that the last of it? There's some kept babbling about this compression code. Okay. Okay, so there's a reason to actually use the net cafes. I didn't fully realize that. I just thought it was just there for ambience. 
don't know. But now there's actually a function to it. Let's grab the green mystery data. Oh no, viruses. I can run. Base of the trees. Oh, there's a rare enemy. Wait, rare armadillo two. Okay. That's not a good sign. Double beast. We got rid of. And it adds about to start. And we got the armadillo. This is normal signpost. So I said, there's something at the base of the tree, let's stick it up. It's a time capsule. I guess I found it. I thought he said they were fakes. Attack chip. Attack chip. Oh, duh. Yeah. Said that ad's about to start. Rush food stamp card. Invite card. Time capsule. Yep, I found it. the ad. <laughs> Actually, okay, so while I'm waiting, let's go buy humor. Or get to the guy with humor. I think it'll be okay to just get to the next part. Just get to where I need to get to go. Oh, that's pretty. I think that'll be okay. As long as you're not missing anything, you know? Alright. Uh, 30 more seconds. Let me see. Let me used for Underground 2, I have a feeling. Let us see, localization. Some changes. Put that there. Virus list, and the customizer. This. Are we done? I think we're done. All right. I made it all the way over here so I can buy humor. Since I bought humor, because now I'm a funny man. Where is it? Humor. Let's do the compression code. L L A B L B A B L L. Now I can be a funny man. I'll be a funny man later. And also, while I'm here, let's go ahead and buy this stuff. There, I cleared I cleaned him out. Alright, let's go deliver the time capsule back. Oh, th this is my time capsule! You helped me out so much. Three friends and I had planned to dig up this time capsule. One is a guy and two are girls. Anyway, inside this time capsule, I wrote the name of a girl. Probably our guest. I love this girl. She was the girl in our group of four friends. Recently, she got married to one of the other guys. If he knew that I that I was in love with her, well, I think it would be bad, don't you? So I had to get this so I could write another name. 
Hopefully writing another name will lead to new love. Oh, I forgot about your reward. Got an HP memory. We got that going. Alright. That was simple, it just took a little bit to get there. Let's go get another side quest started. side quest. Okay. It's terrible! The safe in my shop won't open anymore. I have to put money in the bank today. If you can help if you help open the safe, please come quick. I'm waiting at the popcorn shop comp. Alright. Gotta go to Seaside. But actually before we start that Let's go to the cafe in in Central One and take care of all that. Is there a cafe in Seaside? I don't think there is. I can't think of a cafe in Seaside. Let's also get rid of this guy, because why not? Flame hook two with the power of duo. There, we got rid of him. We'll get rid of this guy too. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get the boomerang set up. Now I'm completely safe. I couldn't be hurt. Alright. Let's get this going. Matt Cafe, would you like a cup of coffee? Alright, got my HP recovered. Rumor has been spreading. There is gold mystery data. It's quite the persistent rumor. Gold mystery data, you say? I don't think I've seen it. Oh, it only recovers 10 HP. You gotta hear this. This weird guy kept repeating these numbers. And there's a lotto number. So that's how you get one of them. Hey, have you heard? If you walk around the net, there are water spouts that can block the road. Did you know that some navvies with special skills can delete those water spouts? I'd like to be friends with one of those navvies. Makes sense. Just in case you couldn't put two and two together. Also, I, maybe you can get this info before you actually get your first partner. You heard. There is this virus bower mi game machine. If you got one, you can play fight against viruses. I have no idea where to get one. That's the hint. That's the hint about it. Okay. You heard. Walk around the net, Navi's deleted a, a, a long ago. Wait. Navi's deleted a long ago? I'm pretty sure it means a long ago. They suddenly appear right in front of you. They come to get their revenge. Seems you've seen a few fights, but be careful. Alright. Have you heard about this yet? Apparently, somewhere on the net, there's this strange trader. Supposedly, this trader uses bug frags, and no one has actually seen it for themselves yet. Probably referring to the Undernet one, because there's the one in Sky Area. You've become quite the regular customer. I remember you now. We have to take care of our best customers, so I'd like you to have this. Bug stop. That's how you get it. Fuck stop. Uh, pull this up. Fuck stop, there it is. Alright. 
A A B R L B A A L. No? Let's try that again. A A A B R L B A A L. There we go. Made that work. Alright. Now I need to go to Popcorn at Seaside. Which I wanted to head there anyway, because apparently I missed a, uh, I think I missed a quiz key in Seaside. I'm reading that there is one here, and I must have missed it. Or is that the one I talked, wait. No, I might have done that one, it's the third one I haven't done. I don't know anymore. Let's take a look. Guess what? Okay, you're the one that just made the made me fight viruses. That's not who I'm referring to. Wait. Quiz Okay, here's the quiz master. I'm the quiz master. Ever since I was a kid, I've been in the trivia elite. Can you take on my high level quiz supremacy in ten questions? Sure. Alright, time for question one. What is the attack power of Time Bomb 1? I think that is... Is that 100? Nope, it's 150, I think. Let's try that again. Correct. Does a needle have an eye, ear, or mouth? Oh, uh... I actually don't know this one. Is it ear? It's ear or eye, I don't... wait. It's eye, okay. What does pet stand for? Personal terminal. In the Greentown courtroom foyer, what is written? It's truth. No turning back. Six, four, or eight. Which one takes the most strokes to write? Four. Which one of these is not in, at the Seaside Aquarium? That would be the first one. You get hit with an attack from Mematar and a champion. How much damage would you take? 40? No? Are they that weak? Maybe it's 30. Okay, time bomb. My person terminal. Truth. Four. For seal, 30? Okay. What question number is this? Eight. Which of the following net uh, areas has a net merchant? Seaside three. Number 10. The year 3001 will be which, which century? 31st century. This is unbelievable. Impossible even. Uh, um, well, what's done is done. Maybe I should admit defeat. Here's your reward. Slip Runner. Slip Runner is a program. Or a Navicus program. I don't know what it does. Slide no stop? I don't get it. In Overworld. B slides Mega Man down the path he's running. There's no random encounters while he's sliding. Oh. A L A A L L A B R. Oh, I think I missed an A. A L A A A L L A B R. So it's a way to get through the over the internet areas a lot faster. Okay, that's what it's for. Now we'll go to the popcorn machine. Oh, let's fight you. Let's get rid of you. Some tanks. 
That's fine, I, I can use Tengu for this. We entered this, or did I? I forget. I might have missed this. You're here. You hear about the request? See that? That that's the safe we use at this popcorn shop. And I've forgotten the code to open it. I have to send this money to the bank soon. And the only other person who knows the code is the shop owner. The shop owner is on a trip, and I can't reach him. So I need help. I need you to open the safe. I need to. A hint if you've forgotten the code. Shop owner must have put it there. I don't know. One is dolphin, ten is penguin, a hunter is sea angel. Dolphin, penguin, was it five? And what, six? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I didn't go in here. Blue Mystery Data HP Memory. I thought I tried going in here, but maybe I missed it. Maybe I missed the jack-in part, or I didn't see where it said you could jack in. Alright, I've got a secret rival. The program at the fish stick shop. I never want to come in second, uh, come in second to that program. Everyone knows popcorn is better than fish sticks. They're kind of different types of things. Like, you kind of have different uses. Alright. Okay, there's four dolphins. Six penguins. Four dolphins, six penguins, and how many? Five. I knew I was off. But I knew it was around five or six for that. Four, four, six, five. Yeah, it just said that there was 30 popcorn. But maybe I didn't examine the popcorn machine itself. Maybe that's where I messed up at. Four, six, five. Incorrect? Oh, I, I see what I did wrong. It's five, six, four. I see what I did wrong. Okay, here's the gift. Millions! Yes, we have millions now. Where is it? There it is. Green mystery data equals Zenny. If it's anything like Battle Network 5, it doesn't affect the in-battle green mystery data. R-B-A-R-A-L-B-B-L. What? R-B-A-R-A-L-B-B-B-L. Three Bs. So, every green mystery data? We'll have money. If you want that. Okay. There. Okay. I didn't. S I didn't examine the popcorn machine itself to see that. Even though I probably tried, but maybe I was at the wrong angle. I think there's another level 3 request. To 
central. I know there's a net cafe in Sky Area, so we can do that. But I think that's the last cafe. I can't think of another one. But I remember one in Seaside. There's the five. Okay. I'm investigating an, an incident that took place on the net. Anyone can assist the investigation. Please come to the Seaside Town water vending machine. Before we do that, actually, hold on. I'm buying two unlockers. Let's go to the Sky Area Cafe. And then we'll go to do the side quest. Luckily, it should just be like right here. All right. Let's see. Hey, you listen to this. You can get across places without roads. I hear that rumor. It's like some kind of dream. What do you think? Do you think the rumor is true? Yeah, there's some hidden pathways. There was just some strange customer in here. He couldn't quit repeating the numbers over and over. Weird, huh? He kept saying, here's a lot, here's a lot of them. Listen to this. There's some sort of navy graveyard on the internet. Oh my god. He's actually talking about it. Or so I hear from one of my best customers. I don't know if it's true, but I'm saying what I heard. Well, it's true. I've been there. Listen, you come here often, huh? We have a policy of taking care of our best customers, so enjoy this free gift. HP memory. Damn. I didn't realize that's how you got one of them. And you know, I only need like nine more HP memories to max out. Going to Seaside. Right, back to Seaside. Let's get to the vending machines. Oh, these vending machines. I'm the one who made the request. You're just a kid. Sure you can handle this? It's okay, you can depend on me. Hold on. I'm a detective. I want you to be my partner. You can call me Flatfoot. I'm investigating an incident now. Some script data was stolen from our corporation. Now we are looking for the corporate. My intuition tells me that this man has a sp suspicious look. The man is the one standing in front of that fountain. I've been following him and waiting to see if he does something suspicious. All right, go over there and talk to him now. Since you're a kid, you should be able to get him to open up and show his true nature. I doubt that, but whatever. Hm. Quit bugging me, go away. Ah, uh, he won't show, his, uh, show us his hand. It's gonna be, it's going to be a war with this one. You mind getting me a coffee? Until he shows up with the goods, we'll just have to wait. There should be some coffee in the vending machine by the station. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy coffee. And they're gone. Or he's here. Dope! I took my eyes off him for a minute, and he took the chance to run. Uh, I blew it. Where's that guy headed to? What could he be running to? There's very few options. Right? Oh, you could go in here. Okay. You! You're that kid from earlier. You must be a cop. How'd you find me? I don't have that script data anyway. I used the pipe comp. And then my navy and his friends took it. You're too late. <laughs> Oh, 
this place. Okay, I know where we are. I was wondering how you get here. Like, I forgot about this. Anything here? Nope. Yeah, this is how you get here. Okay. What the? Return the script, Dale. N no way. There's no way I'm getting caught. Here I come. Yeah! Alright. Tomahawk. The boomerang. Times to get out of here. Well, that was easy. Where did this lead to again? Seaside 3, that's right. Maybe that's a faster way to get to Seaside 3, I don't know. You got the script data. Great job. They caught the bag. They caught the guy behind it as well. I should settle things once and for all. This is your reward. It's Roll Star, Colonel Star, and Proto Man Star. And we're S rank. Oh, that's a good set. That is a good set right there. Well, actually, I should make that save because we got two new Mega Chips that way. Let's go ahead and go to Central. Alright. I can't think of much else at the moment. So... It's just the four, and we can do all of them. However, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to call it for today. I am going to... Uh, tomorrow, we'll do those requests, and we may even do the requests from the downloads and do that tomorrow as well. And then, and then after that, probably start the whole... Uh, Nabby hunting. Yeah. Anyway, I think we'll I think we'll set this up. Anyway. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing well, I'm streaming tomorrow. And then after that, I am not streaming. I'm gonna be gone for the rest of the week and the week after. I'll be back on the 8th. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scottbot64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. And again, tomorrow, let's just get the Get the BBS done, stuff done. We'll prioritize that, even the download ones. I have never done those download download ones. They were not in the English GBA, so that's new to me. Anyway, uh, have a good day. Later.